everyone, it's Joan, and in this video I'm going to review the Nano Blur. And their claim is that you will look 10 years younger in 40 seconds. And the direction, well, actually what it says here in the box, which is hard to read, so their packaging isn't geared toward us older women. But it says immediate correction of all aspects of skin aging, including the appearance of lines, wrinkles, crow's feet, sagginess, and enlarged pores. Um, yeah, and then the directions are apply after your daily moisture at any time to look 10 years or more younger. Well, it doesn't do that for me, unfortunately. Um, it's one fluid ounce. And it was $19. I ordered it off the website, and shipping was, I don't know, five or six dollars or something, maybe seven. And it arrived in just a few days, which is pretty good for Alaska. So, you, just a white cream, you put it on, it, it smooths in pretty well. And I'm just going to let that dry and see if we can see any miracles happening in my hand. Um, the first time, the first day I used it, I put it on without my moisturizer because I didn't read the directions. Because you know, I, I'm just so smart. I don't need directions apparently. But I put it on, and I'm kind of glad that I did it that way because I put it on, then I tried to put my foundation on, which I use Revlon Color Stay, and it did not go on easily. It it was um, it was like it was dragging and pulling and sticking, and I had weird funky patches of my foundation. And um, and I honestly didn't notice any difference in my skin. It still looked the same, but then I had the the compounding problem of this weird patchy stuff. So then I used the next day. I used it with my moisturizer because lo and behold, I thought to read the directions, and it went on much easier. But again, I really didn't see any difference. It my skin just looked the same, and I actually did half of my face. I put it on this half and not on that half and I looked and I honestly couldn't see any difference. So here's my hand. I don't know, maybe it worked somewhat on my hand. I think it did work on my hand. Maybe that's where I need to wear it because it didn't work on my face. So anyway, um, didn't do unfortunately for me what it claimed to do. And I was talking to Lisa, Lisa D1, via comments about the product because she had done a video and she said the same thing that it really didn't work for her either. Um, and she suggested that I use, or she didn't suggest that I use, but she said that she really liked the clean and clear finishes. It's a pore perfecting moisturizer, oil free, softens the appearance of pores with light diffusing minerals, and it has an SPF of 15 sunscreen which is, I know some people are concerned about that. Avo Benz, Benzone. Oh, here we go into me reading these chemicals again. Let's just avoid that. So if you're interested, you can, I'm sure you can look it up on the internet or go read it uh, on the package. I got it at Walmart. It was $7, $7.50, between $7 and $8. And it is a nice lightweight cream. And it has a nice light scent, nothing heavy. Um, and again, it smooths on nicely. I used this today, and I have to say, this gave me a better end result for you know less than half of the price of the other stuff. And with shipping, I mean, you know, a third or almost a quarter of the price. Um, got it at Walmart, really like it. It has an SPF, it blends in easily. Um, my makeup went on easily. It's kind of weird because I'm gonna be 56 in October, and so you'd think I'd be the target age for this, but it didn't work. But anyway, um, I'm gonna be 56 in October, and where was I going with that? I don't know. I guess I'm just going to be older. I had a purpose. Oh, I know. Um, but during the summertime, I still have an oily T-zone. I still have to blot and powder, you know, at least halfway through the day. Um, and so what I've been doing after watching some videos on YouTube is I've been doing the, the 
plain milk of magnesia and I dotted on my face um, before I put anything else on so I put that on first then I put this on and then my foundation blah 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 and that works really well for me I still like today it's really rainy out really humid so I do when it's humid out I do get that um, breakthrough oil but it wasn't as bad because of the milk of magnesia now you might want to do some research on that because the it's the alkaline level on milk of magnesia is kind of high it's higher than the skin range uh, I haven't had any problems with it I haven't had any irritation um, but my skin is not overly sensitive but that's what I did today and I was really pleased with the results of milk of magnesia I just put it on a cotton square and kind of dab it on my areas where I need it and then uh, I just kind of smooth it in, blend it in, let it dry and I put this on my concealer foundation and went and so far that seems to be working during the winter time I need a little more moisture on my face because um, I don't get as oily but that was the whole point of that rant Sandy you know what I'm talking about girl don't ya anyway okay so not a go for me I don't know maybe I will uh, try this again later in the winter time when I do wear more of a moisturizer um, because when I wear this with a moisturizer I, I definitely had breakthrough oil so I might try it again and if I still don't like it who knows it might get sent to somebody we'll just have to see um, okay so I got those videos done and I still have to take pictures of my makeup because I'm going to add more things and update. I did sell a few things out of um, that makeup sale video. Um, so if you're interested, look out for that. And yeah, and I do have some limited edition MAC in there. Oh, important. If you haven't seen or read or heard about the MAC Road Art Collection controversy, it's coming out in September, I believe. Um, Pink Sith has a blog and she has a posting about it really important to read um, I'm kind of appalled that Mac would kind of embrace this whole idea and I'm very skeptical and I'm not one to just jump on the bandwagon but if you go and read Pink Sith's um, blog about it I all I did was go to Google and type in Pink Sith and her blog came up first um, it's pretty appalling so I would suggest if you're interested in that just to go and read about it I'm not gonna buy anything from that collection most definitely a little disturbing okay you guys you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon more videos bye